The Northmen say that Odin has two ravens. Their names are Thought and Memory, and each day he sends them out to fly all across the world. Upon their return, they perch on his shoulders and tell him everything they have seen and heard. In this way, he learns of things far and wide, and for this reason, he is called the Raven God. Cinema, like Odin, you must seek wisdom through thought and memory, if you are to succeed in your quest. So naive to think she could banish it on her own. The further she saw into the darkness, the more she struggled to see anything at all. And the glow, the smallest hints of shape, sound, thought, grew in strength until they consumed her whole. Before she knew it, the darkness had her in its claw. There is no such thing as victory when it comes to the darkness. It's like it doesn't want to kill her. Yet, it will gnaw at her, biding its time. Only when she is at her weakest will it strike to kill. Will she find Dillian before her time comes? Valraven's final illusion to face him in his keep. I know you can do it, Sinoa. You have the sight. We both see the darkness. We can fight it together.
Speak to me, Drew. Tell me a story. Senua, listen. I will tell you the tale of a man called Finden. The Northman captured Finden's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold, put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know why. Upon his return, his father's enemies in Erin set fire to his home. His father burnt to death, and his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast. It was at a hall near the sea. But when he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved him and took him to hell. Six years later, his slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Findon made his escape. What was Findon? burnt away that day. But from the flames, a new man stepped forward, and Druth was born. Druth, the man that I am now. And though Findon never set eyes on his dear sister again, I, Druth, I've found you, Senua. I wish you could have seen my home before these dark times. Gate is open. Open. It's darkness. I know it from the wilds. It's coming back for me. I'm still here. Are you too? I remember. It didn't end well in the wilds. It never does. You think you can overcome the darkness, make sense of it, and once relief settles in, strikes out of nowhere, throwing you helplessly back into the maelstrom. Drowning the mind in fear, deeper, deeper, driving you down so far into the void that maybe this time there is no coming back. Help me. But there, Help. in the darkness, Senua. Senua. And she remembered what he told her. Hear me. Help. Reach out to me. Help. Senua, Help. take my iron mirror. Look into it. For it is a window into the underworld. Within, you will see the face of the darkness that you fear. And if you focus, like I have taught you to, you will also see that as much as the darkness has you trapped within its veil, it too is trapped within yours. Focus. 
Focus! Focus! I see you! I see you now! You led me to the wilds! You trapped me there!
go. Valraven, one of the keys to the gate to Helheim. Hold it in your mind's eye. With every battle, the darkness grows stronger. Every victory, bringing her closer to defeat. Unfair, isn't it? In those dark winter nights in the wild, in the wilds, there were times when she considered. Letting go. If it weren't for truth, for truth, a chance encounter in the wilds, she would not have heard his stories of the Northmen. And she would, and she would not have this chance to find Dillian's soul. I'm coming. I still hear you.
When she was younger, she would lay in the grass and stare at the clouds. And there she saw them. Elusive. Shifting faces. After a while, she could see the faces everywhere. In the trees. The mountains. The caves. like I do. Once you can see into the underworld, the underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Did you see her? That was her mother, Galena. She was a priestess, a healer. She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. And it was beautiful. It was a time before the darkness. But when it did come, it first came for her mother. Senua still sees her face from time to time, hidden in the world. Like she's still watching over. She misses her so much. over the River of Knives to Helheim. Why is she waiting? She open, the open the gate! No, the gate. Don't. don't. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Don't open the gate. Don't. 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 She's done it. Here but me. Not you. Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? I will never let you go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. Come true. You 
searched for control. A way to pull through. When you were in love, you left him in tears. To smother your furies. And banish your fears. But in darkness they came. Through stormy black seas they raided these shores. Do you still hear his screams? And now, that you're home, he's so far away. They've taken his soul to these gods you cannot pray. They can break you, but not your promise. Even death won't keep you apart. Through his darkness you will find him in your sword still beats a heart. You fought for love unspoilt by your darkness within. You fought for your dreams. Now there's no way to win. In the head of his corpse lies the seat of his soul. So you must carry his vessel to bring him back home. won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye. And you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. <laughs> 